Hey boys and girls, here's a book called Lucy Knows Best by Charles M. Schultz. Peanuts, one of my favorite cartoons. Lucy has a booth where she helps friends with their problems. Lucy gives lots of advice, and it only costs five cents. Psychiatric help, five cents, the doctor is in. Charlie Brown is Lucy's biggest customer. Why are you so good at helping people, he asks. Lucy lifts her chin proudly. I know everything, she says. That's a good reason, says Charlie Brown. I'm glad you agree, says Lucy. How can I help you today? Charlie Brown wants to feel confident like Lucy. Try whistling, Lucy says. You'll feel better about yourself and everyone around you. Charlie Brown walks home whistling. He feels better. Then he passes Woodstock, whistling a fancier tune. Charlie Brown stops whistling. He doesn't feel as good about himself anymore. Charlie Brown goes back to Lucy. I think I need another suggestion, he says. You're hopeless, she says. Next, will you help my dog Snoopy? He can't sleep because he's afraid of the dark, says Charlie Brown. I'll help anyone with five cents, Lucy says. Snoopy comes to see Lucy. The dark can't hurt you, says Lucy. Snoopy falls asleep at the booth. Stay awake when I'm talking to you, screams Lucy. Give me your paw, Lucy says. Say to yourself, I am loved. I am needed. I am important. Snoopy feels better holding Lucy's hand. He smiles. Lucy sends him home. At home, Snoopy finds Woodstock. Woodstock looks sad. Snoopy knows what to do. Snoopy brings Woodstock to see Lucy. Good grief, why are you so mopey, she says. You're a bird. You, you can fly. Remember, there's a great big sky out there. Lucy is right. Woodstock flaps his little wings and takes off. Rats, Lucy says. I helped him so fast, he flew away without paying. Next, Lucy's friend Schroeder has a problem. I want to go to summer music camp, but I don't know how to get there, he says. Lucy thinks Schroeder is cute. She helps him really quickly. I've booked you on a flight, 54 first class, she says, handing him a ticket. Wow, Schroeder says. You are so helpful. Yes, I'll even kiss you goodbye, Lucy says. Lucy leans in for a kiss, but Schroeder ignores her. I have to look for a magazine to read on the plane, he says. Lucy is disappointed. When Schroeder comes back from camp, she tries again to get his attention. I read that our arms weren't made for throwing baseballs, Lucy says. Really? Schroeder asks. What are arms made for? Hugging, Lucy grins. Schroeder rolls his eyes and says, Blah. Ugh! Lucy is angry with Shorter. She stomps home to sulk. She crawls into her beanbag chair and sinks all the way down. She needs advice. Who can she ask? Herself. Lucy goes to her own booth. I need some help, she says out loud. Then Lucy moves behind the booth. Good. That's why I'm here, she answers. Lucy moves to the other side of the booth. There's this boy I like, but he never notices me, she says. It makes me sad. Lucy moves behind the booth again. What's the problem? She asks. You're smart and beautiful. You shouldn't chase after anyone. 
Do you really think so? Lucy asked. Of course, she says from, from behind the booth. I wouldn't lie to you. That's just what Lucy needs to hear. She walks straight to Schroeder's house. On the way, she thinks about how smart she is. She fixes everyone's problems. Crummy old Schroeder only cares about his music. I got advice from the smartest person I know. You want to know what she said? Lucy asks. Schroeder ignores her. Lucy sticks out her tongue. She said, Bleh. Lucy goes back to her booth feeling great. After all, Lucy knows best.